Hi, I'm Brent Antrim, one of the librarians here at Santa Monica College. This is going to be a short tour of the U.S. DoStream database. Starting from the Santa Monica College website, mouse over Student Support and click on Library. One note, the website may look a little different, but the steps should be the same as we are currently going through a web redesign. Once you are at the library, scroll down and find the Databases button. Since you're going for a specific database, you're going to click here to start off with. Under All Databases, scroll down alphabetically by title to the very bottom, or almost the very bottom, and click on U.S. New Stream. If you've not logged into the databases yet, it will require you to log on with your Canvas login in order to give you access to the database. This interface will look different than many of our other databases because it's published by PrepQuest and not by EBSCO, but the search strategies remain the same. Make sure that you click Full Text if it is not already clicked so that you get the actual article, not just the information about the article. Type in your topic. In this case, I'm going to search for COVID-19. And you have the option to search for that in a variety of places. You can search for it in the abstract or short description. Be aware that many news reports do not have abstracts. In the indexing, if it has it. By the author or by the text or title of the specific article. If you are looking for a specific article, that's a really good way to do it. You could also say, I want it only to be in the Los Angeles Times or in the Washington Post if you know that the article is there. But I'm going to search anywhere. And I'm going to leave it at this with a very basic search because most of the time when you're looking for news, you're looking for the most current information on some hot topic. So if I search that way, it gives me almost 800,000 articles. Obviously, there's been a lot in the news about COVID-19, so I need to limit it. The first thing I do is I look down to see the source type, the different formats of information this database includes. Although it is U.S. news, that news could also take the form of AV or magazines or trade journals or other things. If I am interested specifically in newspapers, when I click that, it cuts my results almost in half, but it is still many too many. So the next thing that I'd want to do is I'd want to say, okay, give me a specific date. I can move this by year, but if I want the last two months, I'm going to want to enter a range of dates, year, month, and day. So if I decide that I want from July 26th, today's August 8th, so I'll go with that. And I update my results. That cuts it from a little over 400,000 to almost 27,000, still too many. So at this point, I need to get specific and drill in deep. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I want to look at specific subjects. And the specific subject I want to look at is COVID-19. When I click on that, it takes me down another four or 5,000. Still too many. So I could add another subject, or I could say I'm interested in its effects as reported by our local newspaper, which also happens to be a national newspaper. Publication title, Los Angeles Times. That's not listed, so I click on More, and it gives me all of these options. So I say, give me the Los Angeles Times. That cuts it from about 18,000 down to 294. I want maybe 50. So at this point, even though I've applied all of these filters, because this is such a high interest topic, I have a couple of options. I can add more search terms under the advanced search, or I could continue to filter my results. And I'm going to actually continue to filter my results, in this case, by location. If I am interested in the local impact, I could either look under the megacity, 
or I could look under the county. I'm going to look under the city. This will give me 76 news reports in the last two weeks in the Los Angeles Times on COVID-19, specifically affecting Los Angeles, California. So at this point, I'm going to take a look, see what I have, see what works for my topic. When I find one that I like, and I'll just pick one, when I click on the title of the article, it gives me a number of options. Because this newspaper database is updated daily, these are literally typed in, so you don't have any of the photos that go along with it that you would get with a PDF, but you do have the information on the same day that it's published. So I can read it. I can find related items to it. This will lead me to new articles. I can search with related subjects by topic and by location. If I want this specific article, I can save it as a PDF, I can cite it, I can email it to myself, I can print it. So if I decide I want this article, I can click email. I will tell it, yes, I want the full text. And this is strange. Newspapers don't actually have bibliographies, but the only way to get the database to give you an attempt at a citation is to say, sure, give me all of those non-existent bibliographic citations at the end. That will unlock citation style. It defaults to APA. Your class may be using MLA. If you do, you want to click the drop down and scroll down alphabetically to the most current MLA you can get. This is not the most current MLA citation. The most current for the last four years is MLA 8th edition, and there are some substantive differences. So when you take a look at that citation and you mail it to yourself, fix it before you put it in your paper so that you don't um, get points taken off of your paper because the bot screwed up your citation. Give it an email address, tell it where you want it to go, and you might change the subject heading as well, just so you know what the article is about when it comes into your email box. You can give it a message or not, it's your choice. And they don't have a send button, they have a continue button. So click on continue and it will tell you that the email has been sent. If you need more results, click the back to results link to get back to your other search results and see what else might be useful for your topic. If at any time you have questions, you can always go to the Ask a Librarian link on the library homepage. In the middle, this connects you to an SMC librarian anytime that the library is open or any hours that we would normally open would we be able to come onto campus and open the library, which we can't right now. Um, so if you're not talking to an SMC librarian, you are talking to a librarian from a college or university from one of our partners in the consortium. So when you click on this button, you will always be talking to a librarian. This is also available oftentimes in the databases. If you have any questions, chat with us. Good luck with your research. Be well.